Hey guys, it's Rainad, and uh, this time I've ruined Ladder once again. Um, this is the Hunter deck that I played the night that uh, the new Wing of Nexramus came out, the Construct Quarter. And uh, I was trying out a bunch of stuff, and at first everyone was playing Zoo and Warrior and Priest to try out, you know, the new Warrior weapon, the new Priest card, and because the new one drops made Zoo pretty, pretty strong. Um, and I was trying those, and I was having decent results. But then I uh, started playing around with Mad Scientist some more, and I uh, kind of realized that it is what I think is the best creature in the game. Uh, it just favorably interacts with everything. Um, the comparison I used on Value Town is that it's like a loot hoarder with an extra health, but even better than that. And if loot hoarder had two health, it would already be in every deck, because you know this not only draws you the card, but it plays it. So it's a pretty ridiculous tempo play. Anyway, I was trying out a bunch of different hunter lists. I tried out a bunch of mage lists. Um, I ended up going with Hunter. At first I was playing like Undertaker's Leper Gnomes, it was a much faster deck, and then eventually I just put it into a mid-range Hunter shell, so uh, the deck was like more robust, had more choices, and uh, yeah, I had pretty good results with it. I played it up to rank 5 in NA, uh, and then I promised my stream on Twitter that I would stream right around the time that that happened, so unfortunately I couldn't play it all the way up to rank 1, although I think I pretty easily could have uh, before showing the deck, because it uh, I was 19 and 1 with it, and that one loss was back when I had Undertakers in the deck. So um, it did go undefeated off stream uh, until I showed it to people, and then played it on stream. I got Legend in Europe really quickly within a few hours, same deck, and then I showed it on Value Town, and now it's like everywhere on ladder. It's like 80% of the field. Um, it doesn't look anything that special. Like a lot of to a lot of people, it's like oh, you just put Mad Scientist in mid range Hunter, but 90% of People on ladder weren't doing that. When I say 90, I mean probably 99. I didn't see a single Mad Scientist Hunter on ladder. Um, but this isn't really a dedicated Mad Scientist Hunter deck. That's the nice part of it. It's just a really strong, good Hunter deck. And if you happen to draw Mad Scientist, then, well, you have this broken creature in it. Uh, anyway, uh, deck's pretty straightforward. Um, I preemptively put two flares in the deck. Uh, there's, there are a few changes here between this and the list I showed on Value Town. Um, back then, I was playing two flares, zero tracking, because it was really hard to fit tracking. And between the two, I thought Flare was better because I knew this deck would get really popular, and you know, Flare is just fan fantastic against Mad Scientist decks. So, um, anyway, yeah, definitely two Flare, two Tracking, uh, or two Flare, two Hunter's Mark. I ended up fitting the two Tracking because it's just a broken card and helps you find important cards in certain matchups. Sometimes you really need to find Flare in the mirror. Sometimes you need Unleash the Hounds. I ended up cutting a, a Kill Command. I ended up cutting a Trap, which is really greedy because only playing three traps with two Mad Scientists is so sketchy. Because a lot of games, uh, both your scientists won't get value if the game goes long. Not to mention, if you're playing tracking, sometimes you track over your traps. So sometimes Mad Scientists won't get full value. I'm a little bit greedy, but if it's in your opening hand, it'll always get a secret. So um, yeah, this is the sacrifice I made to, to be able to fit that card into the deck because tracking really is that strong. I might also try cutting Lotheb, because there's so much of the mirror match right now that even though Lotheb's a fantastic card in Hunter, uh, it's not that good in the mirror, because anytime you play Lotheb, they can always answer with a Savannah High Main on the following turn, and that's a pretty bad trade-off for you, so I might look into doing something like that, we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, it's so only three traps. Uh, if I were playing, like, for ladder myself, if you're a Legend player, I would recommend trying snake trap instead of explosive maybe even snipe because quite frankly there's just not a lot of zoo and that's what really what explosive trap was for um it doesn't like they're all pretty mediocre in the mirror match honestly i was playing double snake trap double freezing for a while and that was pretty good uh for for most ranks i'd recommend explosive trap because you're always going to see some amount of zoo and it's not like it's terrible in other matchups it's just snake trap is marginally better sometimes uh, two Freezing Traps is definitely the best one. It's a really strong tempo play uh, once Mad Scientist uh, dies. One of the only good answers to cheap Death Rattle creatures. It's just uh, a way to get ahead and make it tough for your opponent to catch up ever. Uh, Haunted Creeper's there so that we just have a more consistent curve of early game creatures, which is what you really want with this deck. You just want to have a good curve of dudes for when your opponent's not doing anything, and then if you happen to fall behind, uh, then all of a sudden you get to you know unleash the hounds your opponent and all that. I know, Buzzard Unleash combo, two bows, which I, I didn't always play, but you know, since we're playing Secrets now, we're playing two Mad Scientists, bows get way stronger, so definitely would not play less than two of those. Two Animal Companion, mostly to support Houndmaster, because without Animal Companion, you won't always have enough beasts for this guy. Um, it's just a solid three drop play, you know. It's frustrating, because you'll roll Leoc at all the wrong times, but that's okay. You know, that's cards. One Kill Command, because I still like to have a burn spell. Um, for the long drawn out games, I can you know, draw into some damage to finish them off, and it's okay at controlling the board sometimes. 
Uh, to Unleash, you know, broken in certain matchups. Go to the Mirror on a lot of board states. Two Houndmaster, two High Man. Um, just really strong addition to Hunter ever since uh, Life Coach started playing it. Uh, it's it gives you like a way to not just lose to the slow control decks that armor up in game life. Like you actually have a lot of game going along. So definitely recommend those. And now that you have Haunted Creeper it's, and Web Spinner, it's much easier to get value out of these cards because. You know, the, the, those beasts are... People aren't as inclined to kill them as something like River Crocolisk. Uh, Leroy's here. <clears throat> to guarantee that Unleash the Hounds gets value against a slower control deck like Priest and Warrior. Uh, this deck is pretty aggressive and a lot of times with Mad Scientist and your much better bows, you end up getting a lot of early game damage. Uh, which means that a finisher like Leroy gains more value because your opponent's going to be at like a lower life total on average going late. Uh, Lotheb's here because if you're ever ahead on the board and you play Lotheb, it's, uh, let's say you have like three power on board. You have like a Haunted Creeper and like a Mad Scientist or something, or just like a Misha or something. Uh, if you play Lotheb and you're ahead on that board, your opponent can't play spells to catch up. So you're, it's like a five mana 5-5 five, five that's guaranteeing eight more damage the following turn. It's like a lower risk Leroy, um, pretty much. If you're behind, it's still good because it stops you from, get, uh, from getting killed by... Burn spells and force an entry combo, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's just a really powerful card. If you're ever ahead on board, play Lotheb, you'll pretty much always win the game. Uh, and two Savannah High Man, of course, to you know go long game. But yeah, that's the deck list. Um, I'll play some games with it. I don't know if it's a little outdated yet. I should have made this video a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, most of Ladder is just Hunter Mirrors right now. So hopefully I can show you guys how to play those. Um, yeah, be right back.